and welcome to my video how-to tutorial on how to get your IO Gear mini Bluetooth USB dongle to give you a full range of properties and aspects and all the Bluetooth goodness into working with your Mac. If you have Leopard, this might not work. If you have an Intel Mac, this might not work. If you have a Macintosh with working internal Bluetooth, then I don't know why you're buying another Bluetooth dongle, but whatever. And if you have an older Mac that's PowerPC, that's using Tiger, I can most likely assure you that this is going to work for you. If you're running an older computer, PowerPC, running Leopard, I'm a bit more sure that it'll work for you than if you were running an Intel computer, Mac. Okay, so the Bluetooth dongle I'm talking about is this, the IO Gear Micro Bluetooth 2.0 USB Micro Adapter, whatever you might want to call it. The main part here is that uh, it says Mac compatible, yes. But as some of you probably know, if you're searching for, if you search for this video and you found it, you probably plugged it in and found out, hey, it only lets me transfer files and like sync contacts or whatever with my phone that's that for some of you that might have been what you want to do good but for most people that's not enough right you think Mac compatible it says all these things here and you know all these cool things at the bottom you can do like you know uh, streaming music or using it as a you know modem connecting it to your your PDA or whatever your cell phone and and, and dialing up through Bluetooth? No, you can't do that. Why? Because Apple doesn't really... they didn't think about it. They just had a contract, I guess, with Linksys, and they want you to buy Linksys's uh, Bluetooth dongle, which is actually really hard to find because I couldn't find it. That's why I have this tutorial. So, I bought this one. I plugged it in. Like I said, most of you probably have, and I found that out. So. I looked up on the internet and I found this Broadcom mini Bluetooth driver. So why Broadcom? Because inside this little Bluetooth thing, dongle, is a Broadcom silicon chip. That is the actual chip that uh, gets you Bluetooth. The actual chip inside there is Broadcom. The little circuit board on there and the IO and, and the packaging and all that says IO gear but the Broadcom chip that's on there is obviously Broadcom. So that's the thing that your computer interfaces with to go to Bluetooth. And that's the thing that your computer is probably blocking off most of the compatibility with. So this that's why this driver, I found this on the internet. Um, I went back to the place and I couldn't get it again, but luckily I had downloaded it. So I'm hosting it off of my web server. Uh, the link is in my video description. So just download it. It'll be a... a a zip file, open the zip file, and you'll get this. When you install this, you can't have your Bluetooth dongle connected. So I suggest turning, if, you, if it's already connected, turn your computer off, disconnect your Bluetooth dongle, turn it on, install this package. Here, just open like anything else. It's this mini driver install. Uh, it'll do this, do that, you know, normal and you go ahead and you install it. I've already installed it so I don't want to install it again because I don't know what will happen but you install it. Okay, so once you've installed it, turn your computer off. When it's completely off, like you know the screen's gone off, the fan's turned off, whatever, then plug in your Bluetooth dongle. Then turn it on. You should see this little Bluetooth icon in the top right up here and it should be allow you to turn it off and on you should be able to open Bluetooth preferences you should be able to do things like uh, show Bluetooth no, no you should be like originally you couldn't turn it on and off now you can turn it on and off you should be able to allow devices to wake your computer you should be able to uh, sync thing uh, connect things like uh, hands-free headsets you should be able to share proper things like properly and faster than you were able to do before. It just gives you total compatibility, like it, it gives you access to all the aspects of Bluetooth on that chip, instead of just limiting you to those two little things that you could do before. So that's why it's just, it's just a helpful tip. 
on how to do it. So yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, I think there's a comment thing you can ask me, and I'll try to answer it on future shop, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. I uh, hope this helps. Bye.